What are the biggest challenges of mobile marketing? I actually think that uh, together with all the opportunities that we see in, in digital marketing, obviously also we see uh, some challenges. It, uh, it challenges the way that we have been uh, used to working with, uh, with marketing. It, uh, it challenges the, uh, the planning that we used to do in the, in the past where we were very, very much ahead of, uh, of time and we had uh, long planning cycles. Today in, in digital marketing we see that we need to be uh, much more agile. We, all, we need to, um, to, to, to jump on certain things that's happening out there in the society, especially in social media, where the, uh, where the messages that get the best response from us is actually uh, things that are happening right now and, uh, and right here. So in terms of speed and agility, it, uh, it's a challenge for us. I think also in terms of, uh, of competences, uh, we actually need to, to step up. Uh, and uh, I have a huge respect for, for digital marketing. Um, I have to admit that in the past I thought that the digital was just another media. So uh, a, a brand manager had to, to, to manage that media together with all the other medias like print and TV, etc. etc. And to some extent that's also right, but I also have to acknowledge that there is quite a lot of technology in this that we need to understand and where we need uh, to have special competences and you cannot ask a, a brand manager to, to do that. So, uh, so I think it requires for, for the organization as such to take in people who understand the technology uh, behind digital. Uh, so have you also added new partners or, or suppliers in order to, to implement mobile marketing? Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, most agencies, uh, media agencies and also uh, advertising agencies, they have taken in digital competences. So, so they have ramped up their own capabilities on, on digital. But on, on top of the traditional partners that we have, we have also engaged with more specialized partners who knows digital and works with digital day in and, uh, and day out. Yes, absolutely. And what is it they can give to you? They, they, have a, they have an understanding, a very specialized understanding of the mechanics that happens in the, in the digital space, not least in the, in the social media. Uh, understand what does it take for, for consumers to respond to a certain message and, and how can we work with the, with the algorithms, for instance, that exist in, in social media. Um, and, uh, and, and that's a specialized knowledge that we, uh, we cannot find in most instances in our traditional uh, partners and that, that we certainly do not have ourselves. So uh, just to sum up, speed, agility and, and very specialized knowledge. Uh, what other barriers or challenges have you experienced? I think one of, one of the barriers, uh, at least until um, um, until now is that uh, we have been very uncertain about the return on investment. So we more or less know what we, uh, what we get in return when we put an advert on, on TV or when we put a print ad into, into a magazine. Until now it has been more trial and error. Now we have zoomed in uh, a bit more on the return on investment in the, in the digital space and actually found out that uh, with the right messages at the right time, especially in social media, the return on investment is, uh, is quite attractive for us. So, uh, so now we, we have a better opportunity at optimizing our media spend, including digital. But so far, it has been very much trial and error, and therefore we have been very reluctant to take off some of the traditional media to go into to digital. But in the future? In the future, uh, we will move more and more digitally, because we can see uh, with the right message in the right media at the right time, it works for us.